Hey y'all, Easter is right around the corner and we are all looking for ways to get outside in some fresh air to make something useful of our time. And I have the prettiest centerpiece idea, a resurrection garden. It's so easy and so pretty and sentimental and you can make it with things around your house and in your yard. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, here are all the materials that you're gonna need to get started. A shallow, wide base pot with some potting soil. Um, if you don't have this shape, you can use whatever shape that you like. This will be the base of your garden. You're gonna need another smaller pot. If you don't have a pot, you could use like a um, terracotta roof tile that you broke, or you could use like a um, plastic jug that you cut in half. Some moss that is really easily found around a lot of yards in the south. A rock, this is going to be the stone that was rolled away in the tomb. So you can do whatever kind of organic, but mostly like a flat shape. And then I like rye grass seed to put in mine and watering can. And then we're gonna make some crosses out of twigs or sticks. My dad ties these together with um, zip ties, but you could use string or yarn if you prefer. And then a purple ribbon and some pine straws curled together to make a crown. The first thing that you need to do is fill your pot with potting soil and then take your tomb pot, which could be, like I said, the terracotta roof tile or another pot and you're gonna stick it in. It's kind of hard to do one handed, but you get the idea. So this is the garden and this is the tomb. You really wanna stick it in there more. So that's how you do it with that pot. I actually prefer to do it with this terracotta roof tile. And then you want to get some moss and just kind of place it organically around. This just really adds a cool effect to it. Makes it look like it's been there forever. And then your crosses that you made, stick those in the back. Obviously the one with the purple is Jesus's, so it goes in the middle. You can take some of your dirt from the inside of your tomb and put it behind here so that they can stick up straight. It's a lot easier to do um, with two hands, so I will do that off camera and then show you the final product. Then all you need is your tombstone that you are going to put off to the side of your garden. So the tomb is rolled away and there's nothing inside, it's empty. He has risen. Then you can just use some other moss to kind of decorate. And then if you want to get really creative, you can sprinkle the garden with some ryegrass seed and kind of poke it in with your fingers if you want and then water it in a few days, it will start sprouting. And then in a couple of weeks, it will have really tall ryegrass. So the whole thing will be overflowing with really beautiful tall ryegrass. It's so easy makes a great Easter centerpiece, or you can just put it out for decoration on your coffee table or somewhere outside. A resurrection garden.